Oh, hey, <laughs> sorry about that. Hey, listen, I was just reading uh, in my book. It, it's crazy. There's all kinds of crazy stories in here. Uh, I tell you what, I'll read you one. Um, this is about when I was working as Ronald McDonald uh, in about the 90s, okay? And we're talking about some school shows. I'll just read you a short section. One of the main things, uh, staples of our schedule of school assemblies for elementary age children. Thus, I wound up at every kind of elementary school imaginable. We did safety shows, reading shows, ecology, character, fitness, self-esteem, and a show called The Incredible Thinking Machine about the human brain. Um, every now and then at a Christian or a Catholic school, the principal would want me to perform up on the altar because the main church was where they had the most seating for their children. Uh, the concept of doing my clown shows on the sacramental altar didn't really set right with me. So I eventually, I usually declined and instead set up my props out in front of the altar. On this trip, we were scheduled to do a Christian show, and I was waiting behind the altar for the children to get seated. I was listening to the principal do her normal Be a Good Audience speech when I noticed a small stairway leading down just behind the altar. I wanted to get a good look at the size of the audience, and I noticed that there was a small walkway that led down a few steps across the back of the altar and back up again to the other side. I don't know if you know this about entertainers, but... You know, I guess I think we have pretty big egos. We want to see the size of the audience. <laughs> anyway, there was a row of plants across the front side of the walkway. So I thought that if I crept down the steps, I could peer through the plants and get a good look at the size of the group. What I didn't see was that the whole bottom of the passageway was actually a baptism pool filled with completely calm water, about three feet deep. The water was actually invisible. I took the first few steps down and put my big red shoe right into the pool. I saw rings of water ripple away from my shoe and I tried to stop immediately, but it was gonna be close. I was completely quiet except for the screaming in my head, but my arms were flailing and I was on my way to a full belly flop in front of the church filled with children. Luckily, I caught myself just in time. It was one of those moments when I was truly saved, just not in the biblical sense. On a previous trip, I was doing a show at a Catholic school with one of those names like Our Lady of the, uh, you know, fill in the blank. No problem, just another stop along the road of many crazy clown visits. We had been using a technique in our shows to help create school spirit where Ronald instructs the kids that instead of asking for a big round of applause, we ask for the name of the school, okay? So just as I'd done many times before, I got to that part of the show where I told the kids to clap loudly, and then I asked for a great big immaculate conception. The kids applauded right on cue, but I thought all six nuns that were watching were gonna die laughing, probably from seeing the look on my face after I said it. It never really occurred to me how that statement would sound as it came out of my mouth, till after I yelled it out. I couldn't really think of anything else that would work, so I stuck with it for the rest of the show. We had many more immaculate conceptions that day. But the sight of the laughing nuns, some of them holding their stomachs, is still one of my favorite images. Great stuff, man. Uh, this is 35 years of stories and... Some of them heartbreaking, some of them heartwarming. Um, you can get it on Amazon, The Timing of Chicken Feathers by me, Dune Johnson. That's me in the watermelon head there. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.